English Adventure Book 4 Chapter 10 The Proud Crocodile Let's have a fun start. Do you all like riddles? Yes. Look at some clues here. I will read out the riddles. Please match them with the right answers. First one. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Second. I am tall when I am young. I am short when I am old. What am I? Third one. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Fourth one. What has keys but cannot open any locks? Fifth one. I am not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? Sixth one. What begins with T, ends with T and has T in it. Let's get into our story. The beginning. In a land far away, surrounded by tall mountains and dense forests, was a vast shimmering lake. The waters of this lake were calm and birds often chirped happily on the trees nearby. In this lake lived Colin, a large crocodile. He had shiny, tough scales and jaws so strong they could break anything. Colin was proud of his strength. Every day, he would swim to the middle of the lake, show off his huge teeth and shout, Look at me! I am the strongest creature in this lake. No one can beat me. Fish, turtles and even birds avoided him because he always talked about how strong and unbeatable he was. Colin liked the attention and felt like the king of the lake. One sunny day, a small fish named Piku swam into the lake. He had bright, sparkly scales and moved swiftly. Piku was curious and loved making friends. When he heard about Colin, he wanted to meet him. They met near a big rock. Hello, said Piku. I have heard a lot about you. Want to play a game? Colin laughed. Play with you? Look at you. You are so tiny. But okay, let's have a competition. Let's see who can push this big rock the farthest. Piku looked at the rock, then at Colin, then back at the rock. He thought for a moment, how about a different challenge? Piku proposed with a twinkle in his eye. There's a tunnel on the other side of the lake. How about we see who can swim through it first? Thinking it was an easy win, Colin agreed immediately. Let's do it. I will show you how strong I really am. The challenge. The two of them swam to the tunnel. As Colin approached it, he realized his first problem. The entrance was narrow. It was too small for him. He tried to push through but got stuck. His large body couldn't fit through the narrow tunnel. Meanwhile, Piku with his small and slender body swam through with ease. He darted, turned and in no time emerged onto the other side cheering with victory. Colin struggled and finally managed to free himself. He looked a bit embarrassed. Piku swam over and said, It's not always about how big or strong you are, but sometimes how clever or quick you are. The lesson. 
Colin understood what Piku meant. He realized that he might be strong, but that did not make him the best at everything. There were things that others could do better. From that day, Colin became humble. He didn't boast about his strength, but appreciated the unique skills of all creatures in the lake. And as for Piku, he made a new friend in Colin and the two often played games and had fun challenges, always learning something new from each other. It's time for grammar adventures. Conjunctions, connect words, clauses and sentences. And or, if, because, since, unless, until, though, although, yet are some of the conjunctions. Let's look at some examples. The lion queen was big and brave. The mouse was tiny but resourceful. 